Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I think it's real important that um, I inject some self-control and some reason in in um <clears throat> in my conversation today, so especially being that we were all under shock, you know, pretty, well, I ain't going to say we all, but a lot of us, and in panic mode about what to do with Joe Biden. You know, but, you know, after you sit back and, and, you know, not react sometimes, you can think clearer. And I'm just going to say this because this is what I got today. We got to stick by Joe Biden because the alternative is too crazy. Okay. Um. I thought about how Jake Tapper and whatever the chick's name was that didn't say anything and allowed Donald Trump to tell all those lies about, you know, about babies that not, you know, coming out, being killed and all kinds of just craziness. So the alternative is a madman. And the other, the opposite is a man that's just old that we should all be so lucky to get to be. Now, we don't just, it's not just one person running that uh, presidential residence. It is an administration, okay? So, yes, Biden may be a little slow. He may be a little feeble. But like he said, I I don't lie. I'm not up here lying to y'all. I'm not a, and then there's a lot of us, let me say this, that is mad about Israel. Okay? Um, and rightfully so. But with an administration and put pressure on him, that can stop. You already know that if Donald Trump is there, they want to continue to wipe out the black people. In Israel, the Palestinians, okay, that that just um, genetic annihilation of a group of people. Now, we're going to have to do what it takes with this administration because I don't know. I think it's a little late in the game to just really run somebody else, especially when you know that Joe Biden is a better politician. I mean, like I said, I look out my window every day and I I felt I feel the effects of a Biden it, uh, administration. I see the infrastructure in my city being addressed when we had some of the biggest holes and the biggest um, craters in our streets and on our highways. That affects me. I can see it. Um, student loans. When you get to be as, as as old as some of us, we don't want to still be paying a student loan. Biden is the only person that addressed that. Ain't going to be no addressing nothing else like this if Trump is president. No more protesting in the street if Donald Trump is president. I don't give a damn what happened. You get out there in that street, he gonna pull a uh, national guard in on, on you. It's concentration camps, all those things are extremely possible with another Trump administration. And I think we better really slow down and think before we start talking crazy. Like, um, and like I said, I've been guilty of it panicking because when you roll with somebody you roll with them you know that's what most of y'all do some of y'all even um roll with people 
that have done nefarious stuff. And you say shit like, well, I got to keep, that's my boy, you know. I had to stand up for him. I had to still support him. Well, if that's the case, how do we look like all abandoning Joe? Because he old. As opposed to saying, yeah, he's an old man, but he still know how to do this. And we're going to help him out. We're going to help him do this. Because the alternative is just too devastating. I think it's really important that we change our perspective. That's all I'm trying to say. I think that's imperative because uh -uh. the alternative, Donald Trump, slavery is on the tape. The Supreme Court, he'll get the robes off of there and put two more. Or three, two more um, races, right wingers. You got all these people like Paul the White, these white evangelicals that believe in the Handmaid's Tale. Uh, uh-uh. I'm, I'm gonna have to stick with Biden. It's just that simple. I can't abandon him now, and neither should you. He's just old. Like my mama. Anyway. Seeing him the next day, him meaning Joe Biden, as a contrast to what he did the night before, that Thursday night, seeing him on that Friday going to South Carolina, talking strong. That's how that stuff works. You go in and out. You know, he was very strong. He said, um, I'm, I know I'm not crazy. If you fall down, you get back up. And that's exactly what we do. So I, I'm going to stick in. With that. I'm, I'm going to stop this. Um, I'm not going to let nobody say that I'm a blue trumper or a blue MAGA. I'm just going to be with, uh, rather be loyal to some, to democracy. I'm loyal to democracy. Okay, I want to know what y'all think. Y'all think I'm overstepping? Y'all think I'm going too far? What say you? Like what you hear? Like, subscribe, and share, and put a comment. It really helps with the algorithm, family. Put a comment. And even if you don't like it, put a thumbs down. How about that? I'll see you in the next video.